Hey everyone, it's Rek here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get the best config file for Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 5 to boost FPS, fix FPS drops and stutters in Season 5. Basically, we are going to be changing our config file to the most optimal settings in Fortnite Season 5. I don't want to take more of your guys' time with long intros, but guys, 91.5% of you guys watching my videos are still not subscribed. It would really mean a lot to me if you guys could hit that subscribe button, it will only take you guys a second. And also, don't forget the bell icon so you can never miss a brand new upload. So with all of that out of the way, let's get this video started. So as I said guys, in this video, I'm gonna be applying changes to my own config file and then quickly explaining every change that I make so that you guys can go ahead and follow along with me. If you guys want to download my config file, then the link can be found in the description. So just go ahead and download my config file from there and then you can just go ahead and copy it and then paste it into your app data and you will have my config file. But keeping that aside, let's go ahead and apply changes to a config file. Make sure that you guys follow along with me so that you don't miss out on anything. So in order to get to our config file we need to go down to start menu and search for run go ahead and open it up and once this dialog box opens up go ahead and type in percentage local app data and percentage go ahead and open it up and once you guys are inside of here you guys will find the fortnite game folder go ahead and open it up go into saved and then go into the config then go into windows client and then you guys will see the game user settings now before editing it, you guys need to right click on it and go into properties and just make sure that this read only box is unchecked otherwise you guys won't be able to apply changes to the config file. Once that is done, hit apply, hit ok and then right click on it again and click on edit. So once the config file opens up, we are going to be starting off by full screen mod. So just make sure that this one is set to 0. 0 means full screen mod, 1 is the windowed full screen and 2 is the windowed mod. So I highly recommend you guys in order to get more FPS and also lower the input delay, I highly highly recommend you guys to set this value of full screen mod to 0. Once that is done, scroll down until you guys can find B motion blur and make sure that this is set to false. I know that for most of the people it will be set to false but it's always recommended to double check things so that you are not missing out on any performance boost. Then for the B show grass make sure that this is set to false as well. Then for the B show FPS it's really up to you guys if you guys don't want to show the FPS then set it to false but in my case I do want to take a look at my FPS so I'm gonna be setting it to true. Once that is done Go down and set the use GPU crash debugging to false. Now this one right here, user rendering API, is one of the most important settings that we are gonna be changing inside of here. So this is actually the rendering mode that would be your DX11, DX12 and then the performance mode. So inside of here, 0 means DX11, 1 means DX12 and 2 means the performance mode. So for most of the people, it will be set to 2 if you guys are using performance mode. But for those of you guys who want to use DX11, set this to 0. For those of you guys who want to use DX12, set this to 1. And for those of you guys who want to use performance mode, set this to 2. That's how easy and simple it is to change your rendering mode and trust me guys this is going to help you guys a lot if you guys know what you are doing. Then for all of these just go ahead and leave them as it is. Then for the B ray tracing if you guys are using the performance mode it should be set to false but if it's not then just go ahead and set this to false and then you guys don't need to change any of the settings inside of here. Once all of that is done you guys need to scroll down till you guys can find B allow multi-threaded rendering. Now this is actually an interesting one because if you guys put 2 in the rendering mode that means that you are using performance mode then even if you set this to true it will be disabled because performance mode disables the allow multi-threaded rendering but in case you guys are using directx 11 that is rendering api equals zero or if you guys are using dx12 that means rendering api equals one then you guys should be able to set this to true because DX11 and DX12 do support the multi-threaded rendering. Now some people have questioned whether they should enable or disable it. So in order for you guys to enable it, you guys need to have at least 4 or more cores. So in order to check the number of cores you guys have, just right click on your taskbar, go to task manager, then go into performance and under CPU, you guys should be able to see the number of cores you have. For me, I have 4 cores and I have set it to true but since I am using performance mode it really doesn't matter if I set it to true or if I set it to false because performance mode disables the allow multi-threaded rendering automatically. Then just scroll down till you guys can find the resolution size x and resolution size y. 
For this one, I don't recommend changing it because it will have the resolution that you guys are playing on. For me, I am playing on 1920 by 1080 and make sure that the last user confirmed resolution is the same as your resolution size X and resolution size Y. So just make sure that both of these values are the same. That's it. That's all you guys have to do. Then scroll a bit down and you guys should be able to see the frame rate limit. For this one, just go ahead and put the value of the FPS that you want to cap your FPS at. Wow, that was weird. You guys need to put the value here that you want to cap your FPS at. So for me, I have a 60Hz monitor and I want to cap the FPS at 120. So I will be changing 60 to 120. That's it. Now we can scroll down. And here are some of other important settings that you guys want to change under the scalability groups. These are going to be the last settings that we are gonna be changing. So make sure that you guys pay attention. For the resolution quality, this is actually your 3D resolution. I have set it to 100% and recommend you guys do the same. But if you guys are struggling to get higher FPS or experiencing a lot of FPS drops, just go ahead and set this value to 82. 82 actually means 720p. So if you guys are playing on 1920 by 1080 and want the quality of 720p, then you guys need to set this resolution quality to 82. For me, I want to play on 1920 by 1080 so I'm gonna be setting it to 100. Once all of that is done, just go ahead and make sure that all of these values are set to 0. These are basically all of the graphics settings which will be set to low if all of them are set to 0. Once all of that is done, hit file, hit save. Now close out of this, right click on the game user settings, hit properties, check read only, apply, ok and that's it. Now you can close out of this. Once again guys, if you want my config file, you can go into the description of this video and download it from there. And then you guys just need to copy it and replace your game user settings with my game user settings. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. A quick guide on how to get the best config file for Fortnite Season 5. If this video helped you guys or you guys enjoyed watching it, then make sure to smash that like button. Also, once again boys, 91.5% of you watching these videos aren't subscribed. So make sure you press that subscribe button before leaving. If you guys will be picking up anything, from the fortnite item shop then use code ragnetic to help support me and the channel or use anyone else's code just make sure that you support your favorite creator because making content is not easy so with that i guess i'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, wait did you guys know that i have a twitter yeah that's where i am mostly active so be sure to drop a follow for some spicy stuff wink why did i do that so yeah that's it i will see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome